Welcome to another modeling tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to unfold geometry using 3D Max. The unfolded shape can be then exported as raster image file or a vector file. So let's get started. Here I have a simple 3D shape created as an editable poly. First I am going to add unwrap UVW modifier. Then I am going to uncheck map seams in the configure rollout. After that select polygon in the selection rollout. Now select edit seam in the peel rollout. Now I am going to specify the cut line edges in order to be able to unfold the shape. After finishing, I am going to select all the polygons. Then click the Pelt Map in the Peel Rollout. In the Pelt Map window, I am going to Start Pelt. Then Stop. And do the same for Relax. Now click the Commit button. This is the unfolded shape of the geometry. Now click the Pack Normalize button in the Arrange Element Rollout. This will resize and arrange the shapes, to fit inside that square. Which is going to be the render region. You can orient the shape as you like, but make sure to keep it inside that square. Now click Tools. Render UVW template. Here you can specify the size of the rendered image in pixels. Now uncheck the seam edges, as we don't need the outer line to be green in the render. Now click the Render UV template button. Finally, I am going to save the image as TIF file. After that I am going to open it in Photoshop. In Photoshop, all I am going to do is to invert the colors. Now you can size the image according to the required scale. Then it is printed on a card paper, to be folded to the final shape. Now to create a vector file of the unfolded shape. There is a few more steps to be done. First I am going to select all the vertex and break them apart. Notes that the white lines turn to green. Now convert the shape to editable mesh. Then go to Utilities. More. Channel Info. Right click and copy the map ID. And paste it on the mesh ID. It is too small. This is the unfolded shape in the viewport.
Now I am going to reconvert it to editable poly. Then I am going to export the file as DWG in order to open it in AutoCAD. This is the exported file, after I opened it in AutoCAD. It is exported as Mesh. I am going to convert it to lines using Flatshot command. It is far away there. Now it is a block. So I am going to explode it to lines. Now you can add any detail lines required to the shape. Here I added some flaps for the glue, and few other lines. After that I am going to export it to Photoshop to add texture maps and materials. This is the final image file after adding the materials. Now I am going to print it on a card paper, and build the model. This is the unfolded shape after printing and cutting it out. It is then going to be folded and glued, to create the final shape. Notes that I added an extra part for the roof. Finally, this is the model after it is finished. More details can be added if required. Like drawing a full detailed doors and windows. Thank you for watching. If you like the video then click the like button. Remember to subscribe, and wait for more videos about amazing modeling techniques.